So everybody, Stephanie from Hope and Love Radio. Today we have another interview with the Buff Cup event. So tell us about yourself and your story. <laughs> I was on the spot. That's part of our story. This is who we are. I'm sorry. Well, we're two crazy Geminis that love to have fun. Um, I started writing music back when I was, um, oh man, I, I think I was almost seven years old. Um, I didn't know what else to do. I wanted to do something, but everything else. Um, required being um, having to go to school or you had to be an adult to like train for something and for being a musician I could just start at seven years old and, and just do it. Um, when did you start playing music? Um, I used to write songs and stuff with my sister when we were like really little but I officially started playing just small we were so tiny we were like so Melina. <laughs> We yeah, but we used to write songs together and have our dolls write songs together. But officially, I started playing guitar when I was eleven. And then we got together in two thousand nine. Wait, well, yeah, yeah. well, we met. Okay, so we met Halloween on two thousand seven. Seven, right? yeah, yeah, and that's uh, what the yeah. And then we became besties. Yay! <laughs> what what instruments do you play? What genres of music do you guys play? Oh man, I can play everything except the brass section. Uh, one time I thought I, I got a little too cocky and I bought uh, bagpipes because I thought I can play things and nope, that humbled me and I sold them. Uh, but give me anything kind of stringed and I can I can play it, um, including like drums. I mean, there's strings on drums. You got the little things on the bottom of the snare. So those drums, um, all types of guitars and uh, odds and in instruments um yeah. he's first of all he's being modest because he's he's literally good at every single instrument so i'm sure even the brass stuff i'm sure that it probably still sounded good but he was like eh. but it's a pain in my grass <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> so anyways, uh, yeah, he can play a lot. Of music. Oh, well, that's cool. well, first thing mind, there was something where you had made like a guitar out of something when you were little, right? Oh, a long time ago, I took um, it was the back of a chair, um, but it wasn't like wood post in the chair. It had like a design inside the chair. It was like a wrought iron chair, and so I took rubber bands and I turned it into a harp. And I had the thicker rubber bands up at the top, and then it went back to like the smaller rubber bands and um i did that when i was maybe i don't even know nine or ten probably i did that that's so awesome i love that story yeah. <laughs> see so when i say he was being modest about the instruments he really was being modest because he can he can even make instruments <laughs> he can make instruments anything can be an instrument yeah. why didn't i have so many cats they're all in different keys what musicians have influenced you and your music oh good question well first first uh what instruments do you play oh, oh my god see we get distracted because we're gemini's so we have like a thousand different thoughts at once yeah i can play guitar uh bass and then a little tiny bit of keyboard if i if i can have some time to listen to it but just mostly guitar and bass the glockenspiel oh the glockenspiel that's right she can play some glockenspiel like this yeah yeah <laughs> yeah she can um and then um, influences. influences. Oh my God, influences. Um, well, okay. So I guess my main influences would probably, if I had to pick two that made me go back to the drawing board and rethink everything that I had done. Towns Van Zant, and I got I got a cat named Towns over here as well, huh? Maybe when you wake up, I'll, I'll show everyone you. Um, but Towns Van Zant really sent me back as a lyricist and of what I could do lyrically and theme-wise. And then musically, it would have to be typo-negative. When I heard their music, I, I, I hadn't heard anything like that before. And it sent me back to the drawing board going, man, you know what? We can actually like put dying batteries in things. Oh, dear. What happened? Oh, maybe that was just me. Um, put, did, <laughs> did we fade away? Maybe I have to keep this going. Uh, <laughs> but um, um, we can put like dead bad or dying batteries and things and slow things down. 
That's it. That's it. The real sh- Yeah. And then for me, uh, my musical influences is um, a lot of Smashing Pumpkins. Um, mm-hmm. Although, you know, I'm, I'm very disappointed with how Billy Corgan has, I, I won't get into it, but I just, I just, I'm very disappointed as to how Billy Corgan has come out of saying some pretty mean things about people recently. Mm-hmm. So I hope that, you know, I hope that kind of stuff changes in the music industry where people, you know, stop saying mean things about each other and can accept other people, can accept other musicians, can empower other musicians. And so anyways, but aside from that, Smashing Pumpkins is pretty much my biggest influence. Um, with bass, Darcy, their, their, um, their bass player was definitely a huge influence on me. She's amazing, amazing bass player, amazing like just all around artist um so yeah so that's like my biggest influence but i also um am really influenced by my friends music like they inspire me they really do just all we have such amazing artists that are friends that they do inspire me diggy cat before i even officially joined the band diggy cat was already like his music was already just up there and it was i think not just me but so many people are inspired by his music we have another friend um called kata luddy Moody. Uh, moody i always have a hard time spanish was my first language so sometimes english words come out funny um can you say moody Lu- Lu- she Lu- knows i'm it's okay she knows i'm mexican so i know she won't mind me mispronouncing her name but anyways but her um her music really really like i just i feel it it inspires oh, yeah. me and yeah and um she has a facebook right? yeah yeah um usually it's at k um the initial k l-u-d-y music or kayla ludy music good there stuff we go. there we go yeah what is the creative process like when you're writing new music Ooh, like this a little bit this but but, <laughs> but we no, with more candles <laughs> and candy <laughs> and candy <laughs> yeah and candy <laughs> <laughs> don't worry folks it comes with an insulin shot we're good um yeah the creative process is really interesting because i mean i love working with her she comes up with so many great ideas when we're working on music together um and uh just and we really work good together yes you know we really do um yeah. i don't really know they just um that's a really good question stephanie it's kind of like we get together and we'll have like basic ideas and before we know it, we'll have like three or four song ideas, demos down. Yeah. Yeah. It's like four of us working. It is. We always like, our process is definitely all over the place. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's like doing like 10 puzzles at once. <laughs> it, they all get finished eventually, but it takes like a year. <laughs> Except like two. Except like two. There we go. Yeah. 2.5. 2.5. <laughs> What have been the challenges that you to have faced in the music industry? Hmm. What have you been writing music? Hmm. That's a good question. That's a real good question. See, that's why I love Stephanie's interviews because she has some really good questions. Yeah. Um, yeah. Challenges. Well, oh, oh. Should we talk about it? Uh, we must because obviously I'm like, challenges, everything always is so fun, but now I need to know the challenges because I must have forgotten. All of our drummers leave. Oh my gosh, that's how much we forget. All of our drummers leave. It's a challenge keeping a drummer. As you can tell, we're we're a little too much fun sometimes for people. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, we've had I think uh, maybe five five drummers. Most of them Leos. Yeah, and you know, we've gotten along with all of our drummers yeah. really well. They're all such lovely people. And honestly, that's the biggest thing for us when we've worked with with our drummers is that we get along, you know, um, yeah. em- like emotionally we get along. Yeah. You know, because that's the biggest thing we always want to keep so not, you know, not just positive because we also want to help people evolve and stuff yeah. too. And we want to recognize the dark stuff in life as well. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, we always want to make music with people who have that same, um, I guess, love right? Yeah. Have in their hearts. Even yeah. our last drummer who didn't show a lot of emotion outward, he was still a really, he's a, still a good person, like a yeah. really good person on the inside. And it's a, you know, and 
you know, I think that's the best thing for us is like the challenge is keeping drummers, but it's also like not, a, I don't want to say it as a challenge either because it has been so fun to, it's been fun. Know, yeah, to get to know all these people. Yeah. Like that's been great. So even the challenges I don't feel are, are real challenges for us because we learn from them. We get friends from them, you know? I agree because, um, um, like they said, with being in the music industry, a lot of it has to do with um, um, obstacles. Yeah, like with being in the music industry, there's always obstacles. So we always have to kind of have plan B and plan C anyway. So I think we're always kind of ready for that whenever anything comes. And we go, okay, let's do something different, you know. Yeah, but. yeah. Obstacles, and I would say probably like for us, obstacles are more like um, like an adventure. Yeah, obstacles all are, are an adventure. It brings us to all these different interesting places. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. We can't hear you. Oh no, we can't hear you. Uh oh. oh sorry. What do you oh, wish you had when you were starting out? What was the question? What do you wish you had known when you were starting out? Ooh. Ooh. That's so nice. Let's go back in time and tell our younger selves. I would like I would I wish I knew that that there's not just one way to go into the music mm. industry. I wish I knew that sooner. I wish that I knew that there was ways to just pave your own way and that it was so much better than I guess the way the music industry used to be like in the nineties, even early two thousands and stuff where everybody had to put on, you know, these masks and, and be certain things that they weren't in order to, to get famous, to get money. And now the music industry has changed so much. So like, I, I feel like everybody has a voice now and everyone had yeah. that chance to get the, their voices out. So I wish back then I knew that so that that way I could have created more you know, I could have created more and I could have helped other people create more too, because mm -hmm. then all the musicians I was working with when I first started, I would have been able to, to, you know, to tell them how, you know, that they could be themselves, basically, you know, that they could be themselves. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's the most important thing, because like, how are you going to find your audience if you pretend to be someone else? You, can, you can't, you know, so you got to be your true self and be authentic with things. So then your frequency um, goes out there and it attracts other frequencies, you know, and sometimes it may, might take a while, but it's, it's totally worth it for sure. Yeah. You know, um, that's a good one. That's a good one. Mine, uh, mine's, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, more material. I wish I would have known that mixing wasn't mixing, that it was like what I thought was mixing back like 10, 15 years ago, wasn't really mixing. Um, but that's good because I know, um, cause I love mixing and producing and all that good stuff. So, um, I look back on stuff that I did like 10, 15 years ago and go, wow, if only I knew then what I know now, but I know in another 10, 15 years, I'm going to look back on stuff that I'm working on now and go, man, if I would have known what I know now back then. So I can't wait to, to learn more stuff in the future. That's awesome, Kitty. That's really awesome. And you know, he does he produces and mixes for other artists as well, and he has for years and years. You know, years and years, so many years, several decades, three hundred years, three hundred years. <laughs> what has been your biggest accomplishment so far? The friends that we've made through music. Uh, I yeah, think that, yeah, because I think that um, both cups. Some of Buff Cup's most extraordinary things have come from um, our friends that that Kitty has brought in, you know, um, to collaborate with us. Yeah. We should mention them. Oh, let's, oh, oh, we have a mug. We have a mug. We're on a, we're on the stream teams, you know, uh, speaking oh, of that. that. Um, oh, and then we have a special little guest coming oh. over to help us explain. Oh, Here's a baby. baby. Oh, oh wow. look at that baby. Yeah. Uh, see, I'm sorry. We're like all over the place. <laughs> but yeah, so the stream team folks, uh, we work a lot with them. Thank you, Towns. So we have uh, Melanie McGurk, and she's uh, she's also busy making sandwiches. She's great at that, too. Um, we have Rory Kelly and Ted Russell Camp and Lucky Lamond and Ayla Faye and Kayla Ludi and Ariel Carreño. And in fact, because there's so many of us, we even have our own mug for the stream team. Yeah. 
Yeah, and then we all do live streams. It's all, of course, Diggy's yeah. the, the mastermind. I, and, and they wait for me to set it up. And I'm yeah. like, I'm busy. And then I turn into Italian. And I'm like, what do you expect me to do? I'm eating a calzone. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, they wait for me to set it up. And sometimes I go, oh, wow, yeah, it's been a year, huh? Oh, no! <laughs> it keeps turning off. I think that's me. So, what, so what do you yeah. think has helped you be successful? Oh! Being yeah, being ourselves. Yeah, because, you know. <laughs> that's, yeah, because for us, like, um, every time that we've created something without the intention of having anything particular happen with it, sometimes it's just to create. We yeah. even if so, if no one's gonna see it, that's fine because a lot of the stuff we create is just you know here, and then you know it just stays here, and then that's okay, you know, because mm -hmm. it goes out into the universe. But like with other times, like how would you explain that? But you know, I think one of the one of the keys to success is grinding every day you gotta hustle every day you know um i know that i do and uh i have my little to-do list you know because the thing is it's like if if we're not gonna hustle for ourselves who's gonna hustle for us yeah um if we're gonna be making music and then you know being in the music business buff cup is like a business and and i kind of tend to look at artists and bands as well as businesses and so when you Put your your love and um, blood, sweat, and tears into your business. What do you want it to be? Successful. You want your business to be successful. You have the dream of that, right? So you're not going to be um, opening up some sort of cafe or something like that and then not tell anyone and just hoping that they're going to come to you. You got to be making noise so people kind of start looking your way going, well, what is that over there? And then they get interested in it. You See, know? that's why he is the orchestrator. Because <laughs> he explains it so much better when my thoughts go, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one's coming out right now. Oh, oh there oh, it is. Oh, oh, it went away. Oh, oh, oh darn. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> so what is coming up for you in the near future? Food. Food. <laughs> and candy. And candy. 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 We do love candy, um, but more collab, I would say, more yeah. collaborations with other artists. Right now, we've been working on um, new songs for the new album. Also. Yes. And uh, Diggy Cat just laid down some drum tracks, which was amazing. So, yeah, and that, so we've been up to that. Mm -hmm. And then some live streaming. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, what else do we have in the future? Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, well, let me see here. Um, yeah, we got the new album that we're working on. We're going to be live streaming the entire process for that album. Um, so make sure that you go over to Facebook.com slash Vuff Cup or Instagram.com uh, slash Vuff Cup. You can just look us up. Uh, that's where we're mainly going to be live streaming the process of recording the album, mixing it as well. Um, I also um, mix other artists while I do live streams, too. Um, we also have a Patreon that we take care of. Um, that's patreon.com slash Vuffcup. So we do that as well. Um, I think those are kind of the, the main things. The main thing right now is the next album and still riding the wave. That's, that's how we ride the wave here. Yeah. Um, yeah. On the last album, Secrets on the Box Desk. Yeah. And uh, helping everyone evolve. Yeah. Helping everyone heal. Yeah. Have, helping everyone heal, helping everyone evolve. I think um, in our last album that uh, that just came out. Um, Secrets we, on the Box Desk. There we go. It's, all, it's available everywhere. Um, but a lot of the songs on there, we really, really are like, it's deeper than just the loud um, music that some of that some of the songs are, you know, a lot of it's very loud. But if you listen to the lyrics, um, we are trying to say like really positive things. We're yeah. trying to help people grow. We're trying to help ourselves evolve. We're just, you know, um, so I think that's another thing in the future is we want to keep doing that. We want to keep empowering people. There's a little cat down here, <laughs> but we want to keep empowering people and stuff. We look like yeah. empowering people with that face. Why are you scaring me? Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Say hi. Say hi. Go to go to go. <laughs> He goes, pop, pop. A lot of cats in our future, too. A lot of cats in our future. But you're right. You is, know, there, you're right. You know, because... is there any other advice you would want to give to new songwriters, to new group? Be yourself. yourself. 
tell your feelings tell your feelings and 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 write fully like honestly do it in a way that if you're too scared about what other people are going to think then tell yourself it's just going to be for you like a diary but do it but you have to do it even if you think no one else will hear it please write the song mm -hmm. please play the song please record the song even if you don't want anyone else to hear it make the music because i truly 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 believe and know in my heart that any song that's put out into the world it's going to be heard because sound travels you know even just on a in, on a scientific you know you know i guess kind of like way of looking at it sound always travels so it keeps going 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 when we put loving energy into something, it changes, you know, like, you know, like the messages in the water Yeah. where you yeah. put love, you know, on the water and it changes into these beautiful crystals. It's the same kind of thing. So even if no one's going to hear it, you have to do the song. You have to, you have to have your voice come out. You have to, even if your voice is just coming out with banging on pots and pans, mm -hmm. that's important to put out into the universe. And that's, that's, I think what I really hope all songwriters can can get to to where knowing that their music is important it's so important no matter where it's going to go it is so important so it's very important um that's really good how do i come after that <laughs> um you know i mean in in the english language with the song or the the word universe meaning one verse so all of us are born with one verse one song that the universe gives us to sing when we come down here so it's important for us to to all have that song and to all sing that song. Um, I think what a lot of musicians don't realize that everybody is someone's favorite artist. That's that's the truth of the matter. So there might be artists out there that think, man, no one listens to what I'm doing. And and you know what? And maybe that's partially your fault because you you opened up your business and then you didn't tell anyone. Okay, okay, but. Um, if you're out there um, making yourself known and everything, everybody is someone's favorite artist. So, you know, so someone will yeah. support your small business. Someone absolutely. will adore your small business. Someone will. Someone will. Yeah, absolutely. And then pretty soon you, you have more customers coming in and and that that little business that was once like a small dream is now flourishing. And that's what we want, you know, for everyone. Yeah. And I like that too, the way, the way Kitty said it, because that's one thing that he is really good at, which is why, you know, he's helped so many artists is, is that mindset of like, you know what, have that confidence. Mm -hmm. This is your business. You deserve to, you know, to have, you know, people coming in and buying things and stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I don't see things in that way. And a lot of artists don't because a lot of us, you know, have low self-esteem. And a lot of us come from, you know, um, from places of, of hurt, you know, and that's why a lot of songs are, are so sad and universally sad because we all, you know, we, we come from those places. So it's harder for a Did we face? Are you guys here?
We're back. We can't hear you. I don't know what happened. I think it froze, but okay. Sorry. Let's get back. Um, part two, that was just intermission. Part two, that was just intermission. It was just intermission. <laughs> Yeah, because all of a sudden it said we were just connected. And yeah, we said, yeah, all oh. of a sudden it said we were just connected. And we said, uh-oh. So how else can we support you? Mm. That's your department. You're much mm. better at that. That's Show us your kitties. <laughs> I mean, that's that's a good way to support. Um, you know what? Best ways to support us. If you want to support us for free, then just listen to our music. And one of the... One of the best ways you can do it is listening to us on YouTube. What? Who says go to YouTube and listen to music? Well, we do, and I'll tell you why. Because you have to let the ads run. Yes, we don't care if it's a half-hour ad or an hour ad. We get paid for those ads, so make sure that you let them run, okay? Don't you skip those ads because then you're skipping out on our, our money. And you're skipping out on opportunities to make yourself a sandwich. You on opportunities. Yourself a sandwich during those you can totally ads. make yourself a sandwich during those ads. And then come back to us and then feel much better about yourself because we love you all so much. We do love you. Now, here's the thing, because a lot of people with, with the YouTube ads on music, um, they actually pay more for royalties. And the reason why is because majority of people skip the ads, right? That's why they do it. So uh, keep the ads going. Spotify, and I understand a lot of people um, go, well, Spotify should pay us more. Well, yeah, Spotify should pay us more, but you can't, you can't <laughs> blame Spotify for your lack of listenership either right mm -hmm. so um you got hustle every day so um yeah listen to us and um and enjoy what we have to say and enjoy the the experience that bring that we bring to the listener as well um a lot of our music is for people um to find comfort and to find encouragement uh with um and then if you want to throw some money hard-earned money our way because we're cute. You can go to <laughs> patreon.com slash buffcup and for a minimum of two dollars a month you can feed us. And you know and yeah and we have special videos on Patreon too and we love our our you know our amazing video watchers, yeah. um, travelers, you know um you know we yeah that that's that's another thing we do is Patreon. But also um personally I think uh, another way to support us is by in believing in yourself. Yeah. You know, we want to we want to see your YouTubes too. put up your YouTubes. Let's watch each other's art. You know, let's all support each other's art. That's another way I feel like, you know, you can support our band is by doing the same for for your art. Yeah. For your voice doing Absolutely. the same. And then, you know, and then everything that Mr. Diggy Cat said, because he's the person <laughs> to go to when it comes to explaining things. You want life hacks? You want recommendations? What about history lessons? What about music lessons? Yeah. What about album reviews? We got them all on our Patreon. Yeah, so. we do have all that stuff on our Patreon. We make videos to, you know, um, I, to hopefully to help people through yeah. the day. Um, a lot of life hacks. I do. Um, I love prepping stuff. Like, not I'm not a doomsday prepper or anything like that. But um, which is fine if if hey everyone has to do their own thing. I will never make fun of anyone for whatever they do. Mm -hmm. Um, because obviously I'm I'm prepping too. But I like I like um to have, be ready for emergencies and stuff. So we, I talk about that a lot. Um, also, I, I do a lot of weird things that I can't express through words because I'm all the way out there. But then Diggy brings it back in and, and, then this, you know, and does some other more, uh, I don't know if, um, how, how would I say it? Human helping things? I guess, yeah, I guess more uh, community, maybe community. Is that I'm what you're ex, looking for? I don't, I'm an extra I don't know what you're experience. looking for. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so yeah, Patreon. We have a Patreon, YouTube. Yeah. Watch us on YouTube. Um, do the same for yourself. Put out your yeah. theme so that we could listen to your stuff. Um, you know, we want to be your favorite. You know, we want you to be our favorite artist and vice versa. Yes. You yes, know, yes, yes. we want to support you. Yes. Well. We want our music to help you and we want your music to come out and help everyone as well. Because like I said, you know, some of our friends' music is is my biggest inspirations, yeah. you know. And so and that wasn't from a record producer putting a band together. It wasn't from being signed with Capitol Records. No, like these are just you know, folks who put their, their voice out there and then people heard. And, and again, remember, like I said, um, believe in yourself and put your voice out there and that's going to help 
all the rest of the artists too, because the more people are able to to present themselves to the world and be like, hey, this is me, here's my voice, mm -hmm. you know, then the more our voices get amplified and we just all, you know, we rise this, together. We rise together up from here, like our friend Rory Kelly. Yeah. Who's up another awesome artist. Yeah. Up from, yeah. We're going from here. Up from here. Up from here. <laughs> Okay, so one one last question. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Oh goodness! Did she just ask us a math question? <laughs> oh my God! We're not good at math. Forty-two. Let me do the math. Uh oh! Can we subtract something? We can. Oh. Subtract two mailboxes. Two mailboxes. What happens if we subtract two mailboxes? We get a party. Oh. Okay, so everyone's invited to the party because we subtracted two mailboxes. Um, you know what? The only thing that I think I want to add is thanking you stephanie um for everything that you do for all of all of us artists out there with hope and love radio um i've been loving the the interviews that you do i've tuned in several times uh to your radio station as well to check out the music um and i can't wait to see what other artists you're going to be interviewing as well you're really helping bring a voice to the public so thank you for what you do I agree 100%. I agree 100%. You were, um, you're a great interviewer and I love your energy. I think that you like, like, like Kitty said, you're helping the world right mm -hmm. now just by, so yeah, I love that you added that because that's absolutely true. Just, yeah. Thanks, Stephanie. You're so lovely. And you, you know, just, I, I wish you all the good things. Yes. We, we send them to you. So, ah! many, so many good things. <laughs> Guys, so, so, so much for being here today. Um, the interview will be on Facebook this afternoon. It will be um, on live in the station tonight at 7 p.m. I will also post it on YouTube and on my LinkedIn account. Um, again, thank you once again for being here. And everyone have a wonderful day. Thank, thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs>